Oh, it's the big reveal! Hello! First thing this morning, Jason was trying to beat the heat and he went outside and mowed our lawn and weed whipped. It is supposed to be 103 degrees here today and the humidity is like 64% humidity. So well, he was out there this morning and he said it was just still super hot. He had to come in a couple of times and just take a break. We are pretty busy with some small projects around here. We have some running to do. So our weekend is go, go, go. And I figured I would take you along with us for our weekend. First thing, Jason finished all of those cabinets he was working on last week. The boys cleared all their spaces and we shifted things around in their rooms, got everything put where it's supposed to and including ours. It is so nice to have those cabinets in each of our rooms. Let me show you how they turned out. Oh, it's the big reveal. This is what the bookshelves look like with the doors on and all put together. I love it. And then inside, it has four very large shelves. This has got a lot of room inside. I'm really excited about this. It's going to fit everything probably and then some that was on our bookshelf before. So everything fit back in really well. And on this shelf, I actually went through my books in all of these bins are books that I still need to read that I didn't realize. So I kept them together and I need to start reading some books. We have a box going out to Goodwill. We're going to be dropping that off this week. So this bookcase was on the other side of his room and we moved it over here and put the new bookcase right here where the other one was. It fit perfectly, it gave him extra room and more shelves for his bedroom. This stand was in Tim's room. On our move out here from Michigan, I don't know how, but the top shelf was lost. We never did find it. So that's why it is a white board. Jason just threw it in there real quick so Tim could use it. But we are replacing that with... This is where the red cabinet went in Timothy's room. His TV is there. And he has a lot of bins in this stand. And it holds a lot more than just that little red cabinet. This is what Jason used for a dresser at the cottage. But he added the little feet on the bottom so it sits up off the floor. And then right here is where the new cabinet went. He had an open shelving system and now everything is behind the doors which is so nice having extra storage is always so wonderful i cannot have enough storage sometimes we are getting a special delivery today it is on a crate this is a new cabinet that is going to be going into the house i will show you once we get it all unboxed and inside this is the cabinet I ended up purchasing. I love it. Oh my goodness. I think it fits perfectly right here. I saw this cabinet on Mickey's channel, My Bashful Life. I'll have her channel linked below. And I asked her about it and she gave me the information and I found it online. Let me show you what it looks like inside. It's very sturdy. The shelves are deep. And we're going to be able to fit a lot in the shelves and it comes with two drawers. I know one of those drawers I would like to put our throw blankets into. We also want to store movies in here and I'm really hoping for cookbooks. I'll have this cabinet linked below. The color is, it's an off-white, like almost like a cream color. And I was telling Jason last night that I cannot wait to start decorating it <laughs> for the fall season. I already have some things in mind. I have to show you this app that me and Jason discovered. A lot of you probably already know about it, but this is new to us and it is an eating plan app. We really like it and I have lost 
one and a half pounds this week from using the app and Jason lost three pounds from using this app. The app for the phone is called iTrack Bites. They have several different eating plans that you can follow. There's low carb, low sugar, portion control, keeping keto, better balance, and conquer cravings. Now, the low carb is similar to the Weight Watchers Point Plus program, and that's the one that me and Jason are following. You can also switch plans whenever you want, and they also have coaches, support groups, and exercise things going on that you can follow. The program, the basic of the program is free or it is $30 a year for the pro. Now me and Jason ended up getting the pro because you can look up restaurants, you can look up a lot of different recipes to help you out. They have a scanner so you can scan your food and it figures in the calories or the points for you. We are really enjoying it. I will have the link below for you to look at it or add it to your phone. Me and Jason escaped. Yes. Yeah, we don't have the boys. No cops trailing us either. Cops? Why would cops be trailing because us? Because we escaped. Oh. <laughs> or is it the uh, doctors looking for us because we escaped from the loony bin? Not me. That would be you. You would escape what, from what, the loony what, bin. What, what, what? <laughs> I'm innocent, I tell ya. Yeah. <laughs> we are headed to a, it's like a western store is what it is, but Jason needs some work shirts. And they are, what are they called? FLR? FR. It's Just FR? Flame, flame retard. FLR is the Christian radio station, Family Life Radio. <laughs> so we, that's where they sell them is at this um, western store. So we're going to go and get teas getting three of them today and of course today is the no tax weekend so everybody's going to be out in this area and they're going to be shopping and taking advantage of that no tax weekend for school back to school if there is back to school I don't know These are the shirts that Jason got. He got this blue checkered, a blue stripe, and a lighter blue checkered. It's nice. And then in the mail, we got these light bulbs. They're daylight light bulbs, and we're going to change all the light bulbs. Well, not all of them, but most of the light bulbs throughout our home because things are just too dark in the closets and laundry room, pantry. Is it stuffy in the pantry? Up here a little bit. <laughs> Jason just added the light bulbs to the laundry room. Let me see, we did the pantry, laundry room. He's doing the table. I am so excited. I am not gonna have to worry about yellow lights on my camera anymore. <laughs> I'm really excited. And I can see. I can see in the laundry room much better. I can see in my pantry much better. Thank you, honey. You're welcome, baby. It is Saturday and me and Jason are going to take advantage of it and we are headed to our farmer's market. We found two local farmer's market here in our town and we definitely want to check out one of them this morning and we're really hoping to get some goodies and beat the crowds. Well, we didn't beat the crowds. <laughs> I think we were literally like just a couple steps ahead of them, I think because all of the okra was completely sold out, which we weren't looking for okra for ourselves, but we were looking for it for a neighbor. And she said they sold out first thing this morning out of all of their okra. When we got the corn, most of it was gone. There wasn't too many more bags left and they were going to be out of corn. It was crazy. It seemed like once we pulled in, a big crowd just come through and everybody was buying like crazy all of those fresh vegetables. I actually took a list with me so that I could focus on exactly what I needed for my recipes this week. Let me show you what I got. We got carrots, some cucumber. We're hoping to do some pickled cucumber with these. Some small tomatoes, zucchini, and then some regular tomatoes. 
and a big, big bag of corn. Now, this corn we bought so much because I am planning on freezing this corn and you will see it in a freezer video that's coming up. We also got some garlic, homemade garlic dill pickles and some regular homemade dill pickles. And then there was an older couple that was selling this seasoning. It's, she said it's, what was it? Salt, pepper, pepper lemon, lemon and, garlic. and garlic. Yeah, It's really good. She said they put it on anything, vegetables, grilling, anything. And we did taste it while we're there. They were um, putting a little bit on some small tomatoes and it, it's really good. Now we need to prep everything. We need to get all the vegetables washed and put away and just start prepping things and getting it ready for the week. Jason just made a Sam's Club run and we have been looking for these for a very long time. They haven't been carrying them, but we heard that they taste like the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. And these he found, these are Andouille sausage by Zatarans. We, I don't think we've ever had these before. I might be making some jambalaya in my future. Other than that, he just got some chicken, some beef snack sticks, some cheeses, and then some meats. Every year our neighborhood has a vintage car show. They also have people enter motorcycles. There's a Corvette club that joins in. But this year with COVID, it didn't look like we were going to be able to have a car show. But we noticed this week that we had a paper in our door. And instead of having a car show, we are actually going to have a car parade today. They have, I know for a fact they have Corvettes coming in, but we are pretty excited about it. Jason wants to put out our Uncle Sam air dancer in the front yard. They said that people can be waving flags, cheering, you know, hollering, yelling, you know, doing all this patriotic stuff and just everybody gets to come out of their homes. We all get to watch the cars go up and down our roads and it's just going to be a really fun time. So we definitely want to get the Uncle Sam put out in our yard and get it ready for the car show to go through today. Jason got our little Uncle Sam out there. He's waving away, waiting for the parade. And also, Jason is going to be in the parade with his Harley today, so that'll be exciting. Today is Sunday and the very first thing that I did this morning was I went to Walmart and picked up my grocery order for the week. Let me show you the groceries that I got for this week. I am going to start off with this. It was a free item that they were giving out today. It's a fresh yellow peach. So me and Jason are going to wash this up and we're going to split it and dig into that this morning. I got a couple of foil pans for my freezer meals two bags of the peppers that are, you know, red, yellow, and orange peppers. No orange, just red and yellow. <laughs> uh, 
a small orange juice for a recipe, some fresh Parmesan cheese. I am completely out of my lemon juice, so I got some more of that. Needed a couple of sweet onions, a couple of sweet potatoes, one's for a recipe, and one me and Jason are gonna split on a side of a meal this week. Some crusty bread because I am starting my Fall Friday soups in September, so I'm actually gonna start filming them this week already, my goodness. Um, so the crusty bread is gonna go on the side of the one soup that I'm making this week. Me and Jason have been wanting to make some wraps instead of using bread. We figured we would use this. Some celery hearts, mushrooms, some scope crust toothpaste, just a needed Gillette Sensitive Cool Shaving Cream. We're gonna come around the bar here. I needed some sesame seeds. I have a very small bit in my pantry, so I'm replenishing those. Chicken broth, chicken, nope, vegetable stock, chicken stock, chicken broth. And then these are new to us. I wanna look up a recipe and see if I can find how to use this. It's a Japanese inspired ramen soy ginger chicken broth. It looks really good. The boys love ramen and the flavors in it. Those sound really good. Needed some more brown sugar. We needed some smoky barbecue sauce for a recipe. Some ranch seasoning, basil pesto marjoram for a recipe and crushed rosemary for a recipe as i'm putting groceries away i've I'm the cranberries you forgot me you're crying for the cranberries i'm the cranberries you forgot me <laughs> as i was putting groceries away i forgot to show you that we also got the cranberry sauce whole berry cranberry sauce for a recipe this one's actually a freezer meal i'm pretty excited to be trying that recipe be watching for those upcoming videos. Now that the groceries are all put away, I need to get our laundry. I need to put our laundry in the washer and I have some towels in the dryer that I need to get folded and taken care of. Tonight's dinner, we are having meatloaf, Yes, I have some mashed potatoes underneath of the corn and gravy is under there somewhere. So that is what we're having tonight. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to dig into this. It smells so super good. I like to use our Sundays as the designated day to get all of our things ready to start our week. Laundry, groceries, any kind of meal prep. It just feels good to come into Monday morning knowing that things are ready to go for the week. Thank you so much for joining us this weekend. Man, we had a fun weekend. It was busy, we are exhausted, but it is a good exhausted. I love weekends like that. We had some very productive things that we got done this weekend. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Thank you.